This guy over here has been with me for 35 long years. He's America's foremost truck stop knick-knack shopper. He's the guy in the band most likely to walk to REI to buy a container for his container container. He's a former linebacker for the Fighting Deer, Deer Park High School, Deer Park, Texas. And don't laugh, those deer, those fighting deer, they're mean. They're all like, hmm, I'm a deer. I'm a fighting deer. Ah! Excuse me? That's not how they get you. They get you with a hoof. They hoof you. <laughs> I like the sound effects. Do that again. This is blood. <laughs> well, I don't know that much about fighting deer, but I do know the sound a fighting deer makes right before he's about to charge you. Want to hear it? Okay, here it is. No, that's it. He, did, he doesn't do, he doesn't make a sound effect. He just fucks you up, man. With that one. Anyways, the Mike and Landon of the Rockabilly World, Mr. Simon himself, the Big Mouth Bass. Let's have a warm New Hampshire welcome for Nature Boy Jimbo. Jimbo! Man, I love to hear that. Thank you so much for feeling really glad to be here. But we're forgetting to talk about my best friend in the world, Mr. Jim Heath. That's right. But you may know him as the Reverend Horton. Heat. Thank you, thank you. That's my favorite part of the show. But Jimbo, you said uh, you said I'm your best friend in the whole world. Thirty-five years now. I'll bring it on in. Oh. Oh. Don't clap. It's staged. All right, I'm still talking here. I got a little bit more to go. Uh, I got to tell you a story. For the first three years of the band, uh, I, I had a different bass player before Jimbo, and we were based out of Dallas. And we went driving down to Houston to go do a gig, and uh, it was uh, an Irish pub. And we went down to Houston, played some Irish pub, and uh, from what I, I, I actually do remember that gig. And most of, a lot of them I forgot, but uh, that one I remember that it was pretty fun. There was pretty well attended, and it was a fun show. And then it ended, and whatever. And the house lights came up, and most of the people left. And uh, I was on stage rapping my chords, and uh, some guy came up on stage and was talking to my bass player, and they were talking about bass, and I don't care about that, so I was not paying attention. But at some point, my bass player told us, he asked the guy, he said, hey, why don't try out my bass and see how you like it? And so the guy got the bass and he started playing a bass pattern I immediately recognized as being a song called 20 Flight Rock by Eddie Cochran. And I thought to myself, hmm, I need to get this guy's phone number. And so uh, when I, uh, a little bit, a little bit after that, I went over and I got his phone number. And six months later, Jimbo Wallace is in the band. That was his audition. So anyway, we're gonna we're gonna do another song off uh, our newest uh, Roots of the Rev Volume One. It's a song called Twenty Flight Rock" by Eddie Cochran. But look out on this one. Be careful now. Jimbo's gonna sing. This one. So, Mr. Soundman, give him a little volume and give him a little slap back about 150. Let's do it. Right? Well, Stay away. 
minutes later, I was in the air. Pails of cocaine falling from the flying plane. I dropped them, I think I was gonna say them. Okay.